Your Excellency, we welcome you to Manchester and we welcome you to my constituency in which this celebration is taking place. It's a very great privilege for me to participate in this Jinnah Day commemoration and I'm very pleased indeed that participating with me are councillors from my constituency, Abid Chohan, Ravnawaz Akbar and Ahmed Ali. And it's excellent that our constituency is the centre of the celebration of the Kaide Azam. I visited Kaide Adam's grave, his tomb, in Karachi, not only above ground, but I was given the privilege of going below ground to the actual place where his coffin lies. Kaide Azam achieved remarkable things for his people. And he achieved those remarkable things on the basis of having learned about parliamentary democracy here in this country, where when he was at Lincoln's Fields, he went to the gallery of the House of Commons and saw parliamentary action, parliamentary democracy, and he resolved to take that parliamentary democracy back to his own country and to create a country based on parliamentary democracy. And that is what we have now in Pakistan. We have completed a full period of elected parliamentary government in Pakistan and we have a new period of parliamentary democracy and parliamentary government in Pakistan. And that goes right back to the vision of Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the Kaiser Adam, Azam. And I say this, Pakistan is a great democracy and a huge friend of this country. And in Parliament, during the misguided short period when Pakistan withdrew from the Commonwealth, I made sure in a law, law passed by Parliament that Pakistanis could have dual nationality and retain their Pakistani nationality and have British nationality as well. And I encountered quite a lot of obstruction on that but I said that the committee considering the legislation would not be completed because I would not let it be completed until the law about Pakistani nationality was carried. And that is what happened. I say today, Pakistan is a great democracy, indispensable to the democratic world. And I regard it as abominable that the President of the United States is sending drones over Pakistan, murdering thousands of Pakistani people. And I have raised that in Parliament and I will go on raising it in Parliament. <laughs> so I say, it is my huge pride to recommend people of Pakistani heritage. We have a wonderful multi-ethnic city here in Manchester and the contribution of people of Pakistani heritage to that city is indispensable and marvellous. In every way you can imagine, from participating in government, there are many people of Pakistani heritage who are elected members of, Pakistan, uh, of Manchester City Council, medicine, the food, here on Stockport Road, over on Curry Mile, the best food in Britain. And in addition to all of that, all the other jobs that people do, the me people who are train managers who collect your ticket on the train, all the way through we see people contributing to every single aspect of cultured life, democratic life, in this country and I am so lucky 
that I represent such people in the House of Commons. So I thank the Circle of Literary Friends for organising this event today and inshallah I shall take part in many future celebrations.